Plus Pool is basically the world's first uh, water filtering floating pool. So in the simplest terms, it's basically a, a big strainer that we can throw into the river. It filters water through the walls of the pool so everybody can swim in real river water kind of for the first time in 100 years. The floating part's actually pretty simple. I mean, it's somewhere between a barge and a boat. The filtration is the different part, which is layers of different types of material. And all they're really doing is taking out smaller and smaller contaminants out of the river. So we're using technology both from wastewater treatment all the way down to some drinking water technology and everything in between. Um, but it's a combination of geotextiles, basically. Think of the river as sort of just passing fluidly through the pool at all times. And on a given day, we're estimating about 600,000 gallons of river water uh, can actually be filtered through the pool itself. And then that gets returned back to the river clean. I wish there was a better origin story, but honestly, it was one of those things where we just thought it'd be a funny idea and silly and it kind of made sense. When we started it, we had no idea what impact this could have in the city, let alone if anybody would want, want it. So what we did was we designed it very simply and put a website up is pretty much all we did. And within two weeks, we got a call from Arup, which is basically one of the largest engineering firms in the world. Our website had crashed. It spread across the city and the world really quickly in terms of press. And suddenly we had a real project on our hands. Um, from there, we ran two Kickstarter campaigns and we just started a nonprofit at the beginning of this year. Um, and we've basically made it from a purely ideas project into something that's about four years away from being in the water. Instead of having a site and a client and then designing for that site and client, we did it backwards. So we actually had a design first and an idea first and then found the fundraisers and now found the political support. And now we're actually at the point where we we're, have to finalize the site. Typically the thing that comes first, we're actually now doing five years later. And so we spent this whole last summer studying 10 different sites around the city, um, from Hallett's Cove in Astoria to Hudson River Park on that side, to Brooklyn Bridge Park, of course, Williamsburg, Greenpoint, to Staten Island, actually, all these amazing sites around the city. And so we're right in the middle of that, and the hope is we actually finalize that decision and are able to announce it basically the beginning of next summer, so in about five or six months. I think the biggest thing we hope this thing achieves is just that it changes how the entire city or how people that live in the city think about the river. And so the hope is that it actually gets people thinking about, yes, this is water, yes, we should be able to swim in it, potentially this is something that we should protect and take care of.